What's happening, beautiful people? All of Anders' beautiful people. Today's a special day. We have a rematch. We have Mo Alba facing off against Anders. So we have a world champion versus maybe the most informed player in FIFA 21 at the moment. He does not lose during the weekend league. He's been playing a bunch of different cups. So I'm looking forward to commentating over the action. I have not seen the result for this game. I know that they played previously and that went well for Anders. I'm expecting a very attacking matchup. If you're not familiar with who I am, I am a content creator. There are gonna be a bunch of links down below, but I also do a bunch of work regarding the FIFA ecosystem on the competitive end and breakdowns. Uh, analyst, pundit, commentator. Let's talk about the gameplay. Enough about me. Run it! You see the Leipzig TIFO. You have uh, Anders, of course, in the white and red. And then you have Mo Alba in the black uh, focus kits from the esports organization. If you're not familiar with either of these players and some background, Mo Alba is the uh, current FIFA E World Cup champion, as you see Anders going forward going to be very attacking game. There's no way that this is going to be defensive. Even without seeing or witnessing this live or doing some sort of repurpose, you can already see the team pressure, uh, the risk that's being taken. Mo Alba is a very uh, attacking base player, a bit unorthodox, looks to score goals. But Mo Alba is the PPE World Cup champion from 2019. And last year, in 2020, we did not have a PPE World Cup due to the world climate with the pandemic. Beautiful pass. Ooh! I cannot believe that Anders shot that first time. Maybe rush the, the finish slightly. R9, anything is possible. Uh, and then, of course, we're into the uh, 2021 competitive year, so we would not have had a PPE World Cup. Everything has shifted into a remote and an online uh, qualifier system, and it's regional-based just to work out everything with the latency end. And it's cool that we still have a uh, competitive year. Uh, I'm happy that EA's been able to adjust in that regard to keep this uh, competitive scene moving in the right direction and building up esports. Ronaldo, looking for Ronaldo, finds Ronaldo. That's the opening goal. Near post, 1-0, 11th minute. I'm telling you, this is going to be an offensive game. Uh, someone like Mo Alba doesn't hold the ball, and I don't know that he knows how to hold the ball. He's just not a structured side-to-side -side player, even though he is swinging it side-to-side. -side. He's someone that's looking for through balls. He's going to try to outscore you in many regards. And if you've watched Anders play before, and many of you watching this video most likely have, outside of the stepovers, as you see the layoff, surely that's number two. He overhits it with Ronaldo first time. Uh, Anders is a very gifted attacker, one of the most gifted attackers. But it does remind me still of Tex throughout some of the previous years where Tex, as good as he is going forward, similar to Anders, it still starts with your defense. And look at the defensive pressure. If you can't win your manual matchups, and I, I put out a video actually a few days ago analyzing and talking about Anders' gameplay and what makes him special, what makes him so good. And a big part of that is how he can micromanage players, how good he is in 1v1 matchups. He also makes the game look very easy. Uh, remember, he's doing this against a world champion, someone that will wipe the floor with almost everybody that's watching uh, this at home. Another through ball. Rude hole it. Oof, a little heavy on the touch. That's always going to be a cat and mouse game between the goalkeeper and the attacking player. If you bring the goalkeeper out and you time it well, you can disrupt uh, what's happening. You can disrupt that timing. Or you can get out there a little too early, get out there a little too late. You're just trying to make sure you don't get ball rolled or you don't make it too easy on your opposition. It's a bit of a guessing game. A lot of space to work with. Mbappe's going with the player lock. Maybe slightly misplayed. Tough to get around Varane. If you're not familiar with the player lock, a brand new feature in FIFA 21. Uh, I've seen a lot of pro players use it. They don't use it heavily. I don't say they use and abuse, but it's, it's sparingly, but it's important offensively. It allows you to have complete manual control over an off-the-ball attacking player. And that's where you click on the right analog stick. So you're basically having the opportunity to have a level of off-the-ball movement, which can give you a competitive advantage or put yourself in a more advantageous uh, position. Ooh, the back heel. Surely! How is Anders missing these chances? I usually talk about him being so clinical. And you can see, wow, as he goes forward, it is so dangerous. He makes it look easy in terms of you being under pressure. Uh, and this is something that I've discussed with Anders' gameplay as well. As Moab was really struggling to, to build up in, in this game or get out of the back. Beautiful layoff. R9, surely number two. Indeed it is. 2-0 in the 28th minute. But Anders puts you in 
these positions where you have to play a guessing game. Feels very 50-50. And 50-50s go in the attacker's, uh, I guess it's an attacker's advantage. Another one? No way. Here we go. Ronaldo, that's good fortune with the block. That could have easily been number three. And you're just seeing mistakes out of the back or in the midfield from O'Alba. And it's putting them in such difficult areas. Oof, the flick. What am I watching? Oh, another mistake out of the back. Number three. This is getting out of hand quickly. Early. 3-0. 33rd minute. Moalba, we need you to fire back, man. Make this interesting for us. Like I said, I have not seen the result here. So I'm hoping that I'm not watching a 5-6-0 uh, or six nil game. Mainly because I like to see a little bit of a, a different narrative. I want to see a game that has... A comeback in it to a certain degree. Or will you fire back? A lot of space to work with here for Mo Alba. R9. I don't know if Oblak got a hand to that. I guess he did. And those are always tricky situations to really analyze and to guesstimate properly with the goalkeepers again. When you're playing at a pro level or at a competitive level, there's a lot of quality goalkeeper movement. So it's not just about creating the space for that chance, but also being able to guess what's going to happen. Surely that's a goal. Indeed it is. Whip cross. Mbappe on board 3-1 so game on now uh, as a neutral here that makes me a little bit happier because uh, the way that this half has gone because you got to think Anders has missed three chances very clear-cut chances maybe even four chances this could have been an ugly ugly score line uh, and I don't want it to get out of hand because I, I like to see that little bit of tension where both competitors know that they could win the game it's not wrapped up by halftime. You see Davies here. We're in the 45th minute. Or sorry, excuse me, the 41st minute. So we're coming up to halftime. We're getting near to halftime. Rude Hullet, Vieira. The bodyguards of the midfield. R9. R9 looking for help. Can't find help. Anders, space to work with. Counterattack is open. You see the step overs. Ronaldo is, is attacking. There's an overlapping run out wide. Is he going to use them? Indeed he is. Surely Mbappe. Ball roll. Ronaldo. Offsides with Firmino. Surely it has to be offsides. Indeed it is. It's going to be a reset. We've got less than a minute now for extra time. Can Mo Alba create a final attack? Some game management for the boys. Rude Hullet. The switch is on. Finds the switch. Neymar. What a through ball. Ronaldo on the near post. Indeed he does. So in a first half where I don't think anybody would make an argument that Mo Alba deserves to be ahead or drawn even or really even that close in that first half. He's done it. 3-2, it's anybody's game. Three shots, two goals from Alba, seven and four for Anders. But it's not even about the seven shots and the four on frame, but rather the quality of the chance. If we were to review this, which we can, uh, if you watched the entire first half, which you did, Anders missed three or four clear-cut, 1v1, a different day, a different way, you would have finished that. It would have been bread, butter, and biscuits. You see no changes being made from Anders. Not really a surprise. It doesn't, you don't need to. You don't need to make any adjustments. Uh, all you have to do is be more clinical. If you could have a repeat half in comparison to that half, you, you'll be in a great place. Just being a little bit better with taking your, your final opportunities. Uh, as we see Mo Alba with kickoff. And then if you're Mo Alba, you've got to shift the pace of the game. The rhythm of the game. This very fast pace pressure type or pressure pressure style as much as that's a way that Mo Alba typically plays FIFA uh, I think that Anders is getting a competitive advantage at that speed of the game He's just seeing a little bit quicker and maybe more so on the defensive end He's had so many takeaways off Mo Alba in this area right here Mo Alba's trying to get out of the back and he struggles to get out of the back It's been a reoccurring theme you see that with Maldini with the mistake Anders steps one twos Firmino to R9 R9 to Mbappe Mbappe looking for another little sliver of space R9 with the bounce back and here we go uh, I'd love to see Mo Alba get forward a little more often or a little bit quicker his big issue has been progressing from the defenders or even uh, the defensive midfielders that can't get the ball forward without making a lot of mistakes a lot of space to work with R9 oh misses another finish you could argue that that should be hitting the back of the net five star weak foot of course and it's R9 R Tizzle and we see a yellow card for Vieira. I don't remember when that challenge happened, but it's obviously some kind of pullback as you see here. A lot of space. Oh no! You can't do that, Mo Alba. There's another mistake. 
Oh, we see a little bit of a cancellation, a red time finish. Maybe some good fortune from uh, Anders, but at the end of the day, fortune favors the brave. Huge mistake out of the back was a taking space without Berto from uh, Moalba. Gets caught kind of in between two different choices. Pass gets deflected, counterattack starts. And as much as we talk about Anders' offense, it still starts with his defense. And this is going to be the same for every competitive player. If you don't have mastery of the intangibles, it does not matter about the ins and the outs and the, the reaching and teaching and just the smoke show and all these beautiful easy on the eye functions. They don't play a factor in the same way if you don't have a mastery of the intangibles as we are nine working on the end of the box. All these skills that you think pay the bills, if you don't play defense, you don't have consistent passing, you don't have the baseline of dribbling, you don't have formations and tactics figured out, it does not matter. It will not allow you to become an elite player without certain levels of mastery that deal with the basics. Wow, so much space to work with. To Mbappe, and pretty good defense in a, in a tough position from uh, Mo Alba there with Davies. I think a lot of us are expecting a team of the year Davies coming very soon, which will be not only the best left back in the game, but just extremely impactful for the competitive scene. Neymar bounces back to Neymar. Vieira gets it back. Little space to work with here from Moalba. Can't find it. Maldini with the step. One twos. Ronaldo to Ronaldo. Bunch of step overs. Back to R9. Scoop turn and oof, what a finish. So the reason that that finish is a standout is because he could have went with the finesse shot, and that was the obvious choice. He had already used the scoop turn, opened up his body. You're saying, okay, the shot's going over here, and he switched it up on you. And that's important at the competitive level again because we see goalkeeper movement, as you see a pause cued, because we know the job's not done once you've created some pocket of space inside the box or on the edge of the box. It's still a game, uh, not just FIFA, but actually a mind game of trying to read or outread a bait and switch with your opposition. Is he going to scoot the keeper? Is he going to push him this way? Is he going to move that way? Defensively, are you thinking that I'm going to cut inside? Are you taking away the end line? What is going to be the next step? And you often play FIFA in multiple sequences in order to unlock space. So defensively, you're getting out of the, your, your defensive half and you're moving the ball forward. That could be one instance. Then you get to the midfield, you're playing a second instance of this matchup. Then you get to somewhere in the attack or the final third, you've got to win another one of these 50-50s. And it allows you then to create these chances, but it is a guessing game time and time again. You can see this with Mo Alba's buildup right now. With all the pressure that Anders is bringing, Mo Alba has to kind of guess, where am I going to find my outlet? Where is our opportunity? Oh, surely it's a foul. Not for Furlan Mendy. Apparently that's not the case. Rude hole it. Offsides, R9 went just a bit early, maybe a little bit of delay from Ronaldo to Ronaldo. What a partnership that is. Quadrado finds the Saint. The Saint's unable to win his matchup against Mendy. At 5-2, 20 minutes left, Moabo has to play perfect in order to give himself a chance to get back into this. I think it's asking a lot. Beautiful throw in. Oh, lay it off. Oh, he's doing too much. Uh, yeah, I think he missed the opportunity here, missed the chance. You only have that half second to really progress and take on your opponent, and uh, that that's that's difficult. You only you only get such a small window of time. As you see the layoff here, counter attack, ball roll, and Quadrado's out of the picture. Very classic. Simple skills are always the most effective skills, and uh, Anders is cooking six two. That's going to be a GG. Uh, wrapping this up even if Moaba starts to have a couple goals late it'll be consolation goals 15 minutes left is not enough time to make some sort of comeback uh, from four goals even three goals even though this game can be relatively attacking as you see in here and I called this from the beginning I said there's no way that I could foresee a game that includes more of that structured possession slower build-up play not between these two players and it hasn't been that way at all it was super attacking it almost felt like a team press in totality from Anders. Forced a lot of mistakes from Moalba. And you see Moalba getting a lot of bodies forward here. The counter will be open. Neymar. Maybe a little bit early on Rude Hullet. Smart foul from Rude Hullet. This is going to counteract. We call that a veteran foul or a professional foul. It just resets everything that's happening on the virtual pitch. Take your yellow card. Makes it more difficult from the buildup. Bridge dribble. 
There's an overlapping player. Can he find him? Indeed he can. Rude Hullet. Smart. Smart from the goalkeeper there. Uh, so technically, Mo Alva had it across the body. was covered because he had a defender. And then you scoot the goalkeeper slightly to the near post. It's the only option he has to shoot. Makes sense. I wonder how many shots Anders has. It must be 10 plus shots. Well over that, actually. Because he had 7 at halftime. Maybe he's got another 5. So up to the uh, non-official count, the, the non-official mic count, I think we're at 12 shots. It might be even slightly more than that. There's a beautiful release. Mbappe, Lucy Goosey. Can you find somebody looking for helpers? Doesn't find the helpers. Back to Mbappe, slide tackle. Falls to Maldini. Vieira, got an outlet. He's got a runner. He's going to give it to the Saint. He does give it to the Saint. Looking for a layoff. Can he find a layoff? Not quite. Maldini nearly an own goal. Remember, this would all be a consolation goal. Six through. This game has been wrapped up since Anders extended that lead. Bridge dribble. One of those very effective, highly effective new skill moves. You just double tap the sprint button. I mean, there's a couple different ways of executing uh, that skill. But if you don't have it in your arsenal yet, just work on the double tap. And you can kind of run it up. Highly Highly reliable, uh, explosive. It gives you a bit of a speed boost. Super important for your gameplay. Whether you're a beginner, you're an intermediate, you're an advanced player, it is extremely relevant to your success story. As we see, maybe the final attack here, 90th minute, two minutes of extra time. Is Andrew still going to go forward? Indeed, he is. Another veteran foul, shall we say? Ooh, second yellow from Vieira. He's going to get sent off. Not that it changes anything within this game. Wrapping up uh, the last few minutes. So we're going to have a 6-2 final between Mo Alba and Anders. Oof, another step over. I was going to say 6-2, maybe 7-2. The referee blows his whistle. GG's to both competitors. I look forward to seeing Mo Alba uh, competing at the highest level. And if you don't know why Anders we're not seeing in the competitive system, from my understanding, I think you have to be 16 years old. So at 14, the Fee de Savant is not able to compete this year. He's got another year and a half or two years. I don't know when his birthday actually is. But best of luck to both people. Any of you that are watching, I only wish you health, wealth, and prosperity. And there will be a lot more content coming out on this channel ASAP, ASAP.